Depressive psychosis. Symptoms. Causes. Risk factors. Diagnosis. Complications. Treatments. Outlook. Suicide prevention. What is depressive psychosis? According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, an estimated 20% of people who have major depression also have psychotic symptoms. This combination is known as depressive psychosis. Some other names for the condition are Delusional depression Psychotic depression Major depressive disorder with mood congruent psychotic features Major depressive disorder with mood incongruent psychotic features This condition causes you to experience psychotic symptoms plus the sadness and hopelessness associated with depression. This means seeing, hearing, smelling, or believing things that aren't real. Depressive psychosis is especially dangerous because the delusions can cause people to become suicidal. A person who experiences depressive psychosis has major depression and psychotic symptoms. Depression occurs when you have negative feelings that affect your daily life. These feelings can include Sadness Hopelessness Guilt Irritability If you have clinical depression, you may also experience changes in eating, sleeping, or energy levels. Examples of psychotic symptoms include Delusions Hallucinations Paranoia According to the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, delusions in depressive psychosis tend to be guilt-ridden, paranoid, or related to your body. For example, you may have a delusion a parasite is eating your intestines and that you deserve it because you're so bad. What causes depressive psychosis? Depressive psychosis doesn't have a known cause. In some people, it's thought that a chemical imbalance in the brain is a factor. However, researchers haven't identified a specific cause. Support for your mental health. Depressive psychosis. Symptoms. Causes. Risk factors. Diagnosis. Complications. Treatments. Outlook. Suicide prevention. What is depressive psychosis? According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, NAMI, an estimated 20% of people who have major depression also have psychotic symptoms. This combination is known as depressive psychosis. Some other names for the condition are Delusional depression Psychotic depression Major depressive disorder with mood congruent psychotic features. Major depressive disorder with mood incongruent psychotic features. This condition causes you to experience psychotic symptoms plus the sadness and hopelessness associated with depression. This means seeing, hearing, smelling, or believing things that aren't real. Depressive psychosis is especially dangerous because the delusions can cause people to become suicidal. What are the symptoms associated with depressive psychosis? A person who experiences depressive psychosis has major depression and psychotic symptoms. Depression occurs when you have negative feelings that affect your daily life. These feelings can include Sadness Hopelessness. Guilt. Irritability. If you have clinical depression, you may also experience changes in eating, sleeping, or energy levels. Examples of psychotic symptoms include Delusions. Hallucinations. Paranoia. According to the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, delusions in depressive psychosis tend to be guilt ridden paranoid, or related to your body. For example, you may have a delusion a parasite is eating your intestines and that you deserve it because you're so bad. What causes depressive psychosis? Depressive psychosis doesn't have a known cause. In some people, 
it's thought that a chemical imbalance in the brain is a factor. However, researchers haven't identified a specific cause. What are the risk factors for depressive psychosis? According to NAMI, depressive psychosis may have a genetic component. While researchers haven't identified the specific gene, they do know that having a close family member, such as a mom, dad, sister, or brother, increases your chances of having psychotic depression. Women also tend to experience psychotic depression more than men. According to the journal BMC Psychiatry, older adults are at greatest risk for psychotic depression. An estimated 45% of those with depression have psychotic features. Your doctor must diagnose you with major depression and psychosis for you to have depressive psychosis. This can be hard because many people with psychotic depression may be afraid to share their psychotic experiences. You must have a depressive episode that lasts two weeks or longer to be diagnosed with depression. Being diagnosed with depression also means you have five or more of the following symptoms. Agitation or slow motor function. Changes in appetite or weight. Depressed mood. Difficulty concentrating. Feelings of guilt. Insomnia or sleeping too much. A lack of interest or pleasure in most activities. Low energy levels. Thoughts of death or suicide. In addition to these thoughts associated with depression, a person with depressive psychosis also has psychotic symptoms, such as delusions, which are false beliefs, and hallucinations, which are things that seem real but that don't exist. Having hallucinations can mean you see, hear, or smell something that isn't there. Psychotic depression is often considered a psychiatric emergency because you're at an increased risk for suicidal thoughts and behavior, especially if you hear voices telling you to hurt yourself. Call 911 immediately if you or a loved one has thoughts of suicide. I hope this helps.